How old are you, Mr. Westerfield? 43. How do you support yourself? I'm an electrician now, and I wasn't working at the time, though. And who do you live with? Uh, our mother. Have you always lived with your mother? Uh, no, I was married for a long time, and just I probably moved back about a year and a half ago. She started getting bad with pacemakers and heart attacks and stuff. I care get for her. But I've lived other places, I mean, I just recently moved back with her. And how old are you, Mr. Larte? 42. How do you support yourself? Right now, I'm a student, and I just lost my job in August. I get alimony and child support, and I'm looking for a job in the same line of work. What kind of work had you been doing? I was, um, I worked with people with developmental disabilities out in the community, acclimating them to the community and helping them. When did you make this loan to your brother for the dental work? It was on April uh, 6th was the dentist appointment. Of? 2016, I'm sorry. And at that time, your sister was or was not working? I'm not positive, to be honest with you. We don't communicate a lot. Well, someone communicated with her with regard to your teeth. Oh, yeah, yes. My mother keeps in contact with everybody all the time. She's on the phone constantly. So was it your mother who told you about no. his teeth? No. He was... came to see me in February. I, um... So far correct? Yes. There's a cheap airline that flies, and I found a really good deal. So I paid for him to come up to visit. And when I saw his mouth is when he told me about it, and he said he couldn't work because of the pain. So if he could get his mouth fixed, he would be able to go right back to work. So I flew down in April and took him to the dentist, and the dentist just said it was the worst he'd ever seen, and said this is what needed to be done. He needed all his teeth pulled. But at that point, he had no money. He had no job at that point, no. So he had no job, no money, and no, certainly no insurance that would cover the dental no. work. Did you have the cash to pay for the? No, I had to get a care credit one card to pay for it. Were you working at the time? Yes, at the time I was working. Well, when you went to the dentist with him, tell me the conversation that you had with your brother at the, in the dentist's office. Well, what happened is, is the dentist looked at him, and then someone came in and said this is how much it's going to be to pull all the teeth and then give him dentures and I looked at him and said that's too much I thought the dentist would let him make payments directly to the dentist he said we don't work like that and I said okay and he looked at me my brother did and said please 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 do this for me and I said Larry I can't make these payments I still don't make a lot of money even at the job I have I said I can't do it. and he's like well if they get fixed I can go right back to work as soon as I'm healed and he just kept begging me and I said, finally, okay, Larry, but you have to promise me you make the payments. I'll make the first one for you because I know he, I said, you'll get the job. I'll make the first one. You heal. And then you start making them. And he said, I swear, Lori, I swear, I swear. You got your teeth. Mm -hmm. Did you go back to work? Yeah, but it was probably about two months later because for the first month I was in pain. Okay. So you went back to work two months later. So did you start to make the payments in June? I, I have given her money, but. No, no, no. Did you start to make the payments in June? Yeah, as soon as I got money, I gave her money. You gave her? Yes. Okay. How how much did you give her and when? I don't even know. Very small amounts. I don't make a lot of money. How much do you make? You live with your mother. Well, yeah, but the, the company I work for isn't doing a lot of work right now. So I'm talking like, four, there were some weeks it was like a five hour paycheck. So I think I sent 50 bucks the first time or something. Well, let me ask you this question, Mr. Westerfield. You have children from your marriage? Yes. How many? Two of them. How old are they? 19 and 23. Are there any outstanding orders for child support? I owe arrears from arrears. 2008. And so you haven't paid child support since 2008? Oh, no, 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 I you paid. I just owe, there was like an eight month period I didn't work because the economy collapsed. So I owe that much, eight months. So how much do you owe? Nine, 10,000 or something like that. And do you get a paycheck or a 1099? I get a paycheck. What was your paycheck last week? Uh, I think it was 420. How much did you give your sister? None. We, Why? We got hit by a hurricane and we needed money for food and water and stuff. We still, I don't even know if we have power right now, actually, to be honest with you. Well, all the money in the world isn't going to get your power. Well, true. On. They were taking cash at the store, though. They couldn't pump gas or anything, though, obviously. There's no electricity. There's trees down, power lines down. We were literally ground zero. What was your paycheck before. the week before? I think it was uh, 212 or something like How that. How much did you give to your sister? Nothing. <laughs>